Friday, everybody, and it has been happy weather day as well. And as promised, very gorgeous out there today. Yeah, fantastic. It looks like most of the weekend should be just the same, Lisa, although with a couple of exceptions we'll explain shortly. But we're just about done with May, just a few hours left. 19 days this month, we had measurable rainfall, including today, but most of that rain happened just after midnight. But it's gone now. May is just about over. We're looking at sort of a hazy sky out there, and the reason for that is there's some smoke coming from Canadian wildfires, and that jet stream is propelling that smoke right down across New England, so it's creating a little bit of a hazy look to the sky. And we're looking at temperatures which are mostly in the 60s here now. I mean, we'll go down to the 50s tonight, mid and upper 50s, and then rise up tomorrow about to what they were today, upper 70s, touching 80 in a few well inland locations, especially over Worcester County, western Middlesex County, but right along the coast, it's only going to be in the 60s. Boston made it to 75 today, but it won't do that tomorrow because the sea breeze will be going first thing. And over the rest of the nation, though, it's in the 80s to a few lower 90s, so looking more like a June 1st map. There's not much going on across the nation. It's peaceful out there. And we should have some relatively peaceful weather here this weekend, too. Now, here's the exception. There's enough moisture in the low levels, so it's apt to form uh, certainly areas of fog and low cloudiness uh, during the late night hours and during the first thing tomorrow morning. Note the time stamp. By the time we get to late morning, that's all burned off, except out over the ocean, we still have the low cloudiness and fog, which may flirt with some of the coastline communities and beaches from time to time this weekend. Late tomorrow, it looks like we have some showers and storms, which will come in from New York State, come into the Monadnock region like that, and come east within fall apart. That could be repeated on Sunday. On Sunday, again, a lot of low cloudness and fog. Here's the setup. It's coolest at the coast, mostly in the 60s and upper 50s there, to the 70s as you get deeper inland for Sunday. And then it looks like we're going to have this system come in from the west and give us those showers coming in later Saturday, and the more important one coming in on Sunday. So here's a look at, we think, of in terms of the traveling, it looks like we're going to have some decent weather across the area. Tampa gets up to 92 tomorrow. Houston is 95. But here, no hot weather coming, just near or a little bit above average weather through the weekend, and then a little bit below average weather the first part of next week. So have a great weekend, everybody. You too, Barry. Thank